Hello everyone. Now I am going to explain the concept of isomers. What is isomers? It is defined as the molecules or compound having same molecular formula but different connectivity or different orientation in a space either in 3D or 2D are called isomers. And this phenomenon is known as isomerism. The isomers have different physical and chemical property generally. Let us see the example of isomers. We have compound C, C, C and C and another Let us connect the hydrogen, the all terminal carbon will bond with 3 hydrogen because carbon will form maximum 4 bond. Here also terminal carbon will bond with Three hydrogen so let us see here molecular formula of this compound is C4 H10 and for this will be C4 H10 so this compound is normal Butane, while this is isobutane or two methyl propane, according to IPC. So both compound have same molecular formula c 4 a 10 let us see the connectivity so see here this terminal carbon is bonded with three hydrogen and one carbon atom here and here while middle carbon are bonded with two hydrogen and two different carbon atom for this this and this now let us see the isobutane the terminal carbon is bonded with three hydrogen and one carbon. Here also sim similar three hydrogen and one carbon. But middle carbon is bonded with three carbon and one hydrogen. So here connectivity is different. Terminal carbon has same, but middle carbon is bonded with two carbon, two hydrogen. While here one carbon, three carbon and one hydrogen. So both compound have same molecular formula but different connectivity. Therefore, both are isomers. Isomers have different phys physical and chemical property. Let us see the example. Iso normal butane has boiling point equal to minus one degree Celsius to 1 degree Celsius while isobutane has boiling point minus 11.7 degree Celsius so both have different physical property both have also different melting point vapor pressure both have also different chemical properties let us see the example Normal butane react with bromine in presence of sunlight that is H nu. We have to write the monobromination product. It will give C C H 
hydrogen, 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 and here bromine will attach. The name of the given compound is two bromo butane. When isobutane react with bromine in presence of sunlight, the mono product will be Here, bromine will attach. The name of the given compound is 2 bromo two methyl propane. So, if the rate of reaction of First one is R1 and second is R2. Then R1 will be less than R2. That is the second reaction is faster than first reaction. Monobromination of isobutane is faster than monobromination of normal butane. Because this reaction occurs through free radical mechanism and Isobutane gives 3 degree free radical which is more stable compared to 2 degree free radical in case of normal butane. So here both compounds have same molecular formula but different physical property and different chemical property therefore both are called isomers. Both are come under the category of a structural isomers. A structural isomers. So both are structural isomers. Let us see the another example. Both have same molecular formula C4H8. C4H8. Let us check the connectivity. So this carbon atom is bonded with double bonded carbon and middle carbon is bonded with double bond. Here also middle carbon is bonded with double bond carbon and this both carbon are bonded with double bonded carbon. So connectivity is same here. What is different? So see here, uh, the orientation of this group and these are different in plane. That is, you can say that methyl group is upper and in another molecule methyl group is lower side. So the orientation of group and atoms are different in 2D, that is in a plane. So, both have same molecular formula but different orientation in plane that is in 2D. Therefore, both are isomers. If you make it a rectangle, then methyl groups are and hydrogens are at the edge side of rectangle. While in this structure, Hydrogens and methyl groups are diagonal sides. That is, both have different orientation. Now let us check the physical property. This is called cis isomers. If similar group are towards same side, then it is called cis. If they are diagonally, then they are called trans isomers. 
so this is cis and this is trans later we will study in details so cis butene has boiling point Three point seven degrees Celsius, while transbutene has boiling point zero point nine degrees Celsius. That is, both have different physical property. Both have different dipole moment. Now let us see the chemical properties. If cis butene react with bromine in non polar solvent ccl4 then product will form So if cis butene react with bromine in polar solvent, the product will form a mirror image of each other, and this is the optically active compound. So both are called racemic mixture. Racemic mixture, or enantiomers. Enantiomers. While when trans react with bromine in CCl4, that is a non-polar solvent, it will give CH3, CH3, HBr, HBr, which is optically inactive because it has plane of symmetry. So this compound is meso. So both have different chemical property as well as physical property, but same molecular formula and same connectivity. Therefore, both are come under the category of stereoisomers or geometrical isomers so a stereo or geometrical a stereo or geometrical isomers isomers are broadly classified as a structural isomers or constitutional isomers stereo isomers so isomers are divided in two parts structural isomers that is constitutional isomers or stereo isomers further structural isomers are divided in six parts they are chain isomers, position isomers, ring chain isomers, metamers, functional isomers, tautomers. Stereo isomers are divided in two parts that is the conformational isomers and configurational isomers. Configurational isomers further classified in two parts that is the geometrical isomers and optical isomers so we will study all that isomers in next lecture thanks for watching my video